Hey, how you guys doing? It's your boy, Mr. Limba. Hey, um, I just thought I'd give you guys some uh, quick red pill content. This one's called Women Are Outdated in the Dating Game. Yes, man. Women need an update. You see what's funny? Women still think that they can have it the traditional way. Meanwhile, not behave as traditional women. When it comes to the dating game, women think that they are the only ones taking mental notes. They think that they are the only ones putting a guy up for an interview. They think that they hold the cards. They believe that they hold the power. Now, that's funny. You see, because they don't hold any power. We are also taking mental notes. We're also catching things that she says. And we're writing her off. But she has no clue. Women still think that men are going to pay for dates. Heck, they think that they don't have to participate in the financial distribution. When it comes to paying for stuff on dates. Women think that you have to be on time and they do not. They think that you must open doors for them they think that if it's raining you should go out there and go get the car and bring it around they don't understand that they must earn these very basic basic of course in her mind acts and gestures that you do give and do she thinks she gets to walk in and be the queen and you're the peasant the sad part is women don't realize men are evolving. Men are adapting to their loose ways, to their unruly ways of behaving. So as a result, as a result, they miss out on many great men that could have been in their lives. Women don't text back, expecting men to text back. Not realizing most of the men who are real men, most of the men that they would enjoy being with, those men, <laughs> those men are not going to beg you to text back. Those men are going to move on. They don't understand that the men who would actually care about getting married, especially when it comes to getting married according to the system. I'm talking about that legal contract called marriage. That we in the red pill manosphere like to call slavery. They don't realize that the men who are most likely to get married are no longer getting married. See now they're stuck. Because the good for nothing guys who would have never gotten married to them in the first place. Where those, were, those, were, those guys will never marry them anyway. And us men who were the kind of guys who had the quality, intelligence, money and style, and morals to actually marry them and be a good father and a husband, we don't want anything to do with them either. See, the thing is, women played the game too much. If you ever heard of the saying, when you take it too far, that is exactly what the female in America has done. The female in the West, that is exactly what she has done. All of them who follow the American system, the Western system, the gynocracy, feminism, whatever you want to call it, they have taken it too far. They have taken your daughter and then now they are hooking up with a woman, raising your daughter in a homosexual relationship and you have no say so. They have taken your unborn child and aborted him without your permission or input. They have taken your wealth that you worked so hard for. They have falsely accused you of things that gotten you arrested and destroyed your reputation. They have went on dates when they're not interested. They have taken your money. Yes. Even though they know that they were not interested. But the red pill now is out. Men are prescribed the red pill every day. And believe me. We all here on the manosphere, we are pushing this pill. We are the pharmacy. 
Brothers in the comments section are dropping knowledge as well. So women are really outdated when it comes to the dating game because they think they're coming into it like they are in the 1930s. Yeah, like they're living back in the 20s. Or maybe they are women in parts of the world who do not believe in the Western gynocracy. Because in those parts of the world, those women may still get treatment like those treatments that these women are expecting. But what these women do not realize, those treatments are only reserved for certain kind of women. Which most of that kind of women no longer exist. The kind of women that deserve these treatments no longer exist. And if they do, they're not in this part of the hemisphere. No one is going to kiss up to these women. And this is where it's sad. Because they truly believe, deep down, that we're going to kiss up. The thing about this red pill, man, is that even the betas are taking it. And the alphas who once believed in female innocence are now claiming fully the throne of the alpha male. They are no longer accepting the garbage. So these men will go on dates and they'll make sure they keep it cheap or entirely free. If you do it like me, your date don't pass six dollars. It doesn't go over six bucks. Walmart is your friend. So she's sitting there wondering, um, you know, how am I going to play him? How am I going to get some resources out of them? Out of these men. And yes brothers. Even though women have their own resources nowadays. They still want yours. I've told you before in my video. Hypergamy. That women are master consumers. But I am saddened. If I wasn't so cold. For these women. I would shed a tear. Because they really do not realize that they are outdated in this game. They don't realize that if they're 28 years old, that they are old women. Their market value, reproduction value, sexual value is all gone. Yes, at 28, women start experiencing ovarian cysts and fibroids. Complications when it comes to giving birth. So the sad thing is, these women still think they can play games with us. And we're laughing them, laughing at them all the way to the bank. Man, I just thought I'd share that with you guys, man. I just thought I would share that with you guys. These women have no clue that we are awake now. That they're losing their power gradually and rapidly. Every second that ticks on a red pill video, they are losing ground. <laughs> oh, man. And they thought that feminism was their friend. Feminism messed them up. Feminism got them stuck. And the simps that are out there. <laughs> They're only going to chew you, man. You are going to get chewed because you don't want to wake up yet. <laughs> if I were you, I would wake the hell up. The manginas, the white knights. Yeah, man. Don't save her. She can't be saved. This is my take on why women are outdated. When it comes to the dating game. Women are behind. They are lost. And for all the red pill men that they are looking for to feel sorry for them, Omarion said it best. There is an ice box where my heart used to be. I'm so cold. Mr. Limba, out. <laughs>